everybody good buddy kill here and my hair is bouncy today so it's another vloggy vlog Sunday because that's what we do um not really much has been going on in my life lately it's been kind of the same old same old like summer's here so that means I have to go to my parents' house in a couple weeks that's okay though I don't Dink's coming with me, so that's gonna be okie dokie. And I'm still doing things as normal. Some games updated, so I'll be doing those soon. So that's exciting. I'm trying to work on Dreamtalia more. Have the next few chapters up, and I've been figuring out what the next demo is. But it's gonna be good. And I've been trying to work on a new game. Sort of. Dink's been really busy, so. While I've been trying to get their help for it, they're not around, so. Anyway, uh, that's the moment for my stuff. It's not really been an effective, not effective, eventful week or so. Like, even, like, the comments, no one, not, not a lot of people left a lot of questions, or not a lot of questions I didn't want to answer, so on and so forth. So, I just chose three. Three this time. Because that's easy. I found my panda, by the way, but there's too many stuffed animals to have. We ha we don't have a bag for them, so they're all stuffed in a cupboard. So it's like, the moment I get them out, there's going to be like so much everywhere. I will someday, and a lot of them are also Dig, so I might wait until Dig is able to do a vlog with me to do a introduce all the stuffed animals vlog, because then they can remember stuff, and then we can tell stories about our little stuffed animal friends, because we love them so much. Yes. And our boo stuff. Yes. So, question corner, ask corner, blah 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 blah. Uh, there was one that was really confusing, so I'm gonna read it as was. Um, what do you do when someone say you wouldn't cosplay because on the way that I look you? On the way I look you? Uh, I'm going to assume that means because of how you look in it? Like, if you're a large or diff? Or just, fuck them. Literally, that's it. Like, that's their opinion. Like, this one time, I was being Keiichi from Higurashi, and I looked pretty good. Like, granted, I only watched half the series by then. I didn't even watch it. I, like, read it. So I was being Keiichi, and, um, I was at con, and someone was like, hey, who are you supposed to be? And I'm like, I'm Keiichi from Higurashi. He was like, wow, that is the worst Keiichi I've ever seen. And, uh, I was sad, and I never cosplayed him again. And it's like, ugh, but it was a good cosplay, and I liked my group. And another time, I was being Germany, and, like, I looked really bad in the outfit, because it wasn't really tailored to me, so it just looked really ill-fit, and they're like, eh, you kind of miss Germany, I was like, oh, but I want to be Germany. And then I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna be Germany. And then I did. But that's a whole kettle of fish. Um, I say that a lot, I realize. I don't know why. <laughs> I only say it in, like, an actual company, not in games, and I don't know why. But, yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. If you're too large or too small or diff from this or that, fuck them. It's cosplay. You, you play with costumes. That's it. Yeah. Like, Lordy knows there's stuff I want to cosplay, but I'm like, nah, but it's like, it, it's, I can do whatever I want. That's it, If I don't want to cosplay something, that's my choice, not no one else's choice. There's a good moral right there. Uh, Okay, um, I got a lot of questions on this on both Tumblr and this of any advice to people wanting to make Italia games. I got a few. Research your options, like XP, RenP, Ace, uh, just says stuff. There's a lot of ways to make Italia games, but I personally recommend RPG Maker XP because pretty easy. Uh, it's a ton of work. It's a lot of work. You have to plug in everything. So you have to be motivated. It's not just one of the things of, oh, I'll just whip it together, do do do. No. If you want to make a good quality something, you have to have a lot of time and a lot of effort in it. So that's a thing. Um, I know some people want to convert their fanfics into... My hair's so frizzy today. Goodness gracious. Um, I know people want to convert their fanfics into it, which is okay on its own, but you have to make it playable for the player. Of... Um, Unless it's like a visual novel, but you have to keep them in mind of what's going to entertain them, what do you want them to do, 
because and to keep them informed because they don't have your head they're not going to understand things like you do they're not going to read the subject matter beforehand they're that's going to be their first time seeing it so you have to take it from their perspective of what's someone who's never seen or heard of me before going to think so that's the thing to keep in mind got to make it foolproof and having ideas from other people can be really helpful you don't have to do this on your own like, if your main person, however, is, like, if, if it's a two-person game, and one of them's opting out, you might have to pick up the slack if you want it to work. Like, if you're really passionate about it, you might just have to just say fuck it and just go on without them. Or just get help from other people, because other people's opinions are also valid. Like, yeah, me and Piano made Dream Talia, but when Piano opted out of the game, I'm the one who made it, you know, 85% of it by myself. And... I got ideas from other people. I got ideas from Dig, I got ideas from Lubo, I got ideas from a lot of people on the stream to just different things to put together to make it, you know, keep going when I ran out of ideas. So, it's valid. It's absolutely valid. And... Yes. That is some advice. Uh, me and the Hitta Guild are thinking about making a... Um... To make a do- how to make a Hitta game do and don't list. Let's discuss thing sometime. Yes. Yes. Anyway, uh, last question. Am I into German cest? No. Like, I get the appeal. Like, I don't really hate any ship, now that I think about it. Because I see the appeal in all of them. It's just not for me. Like, I can appreciate it. Especially good art. It's like cool but I don't necessarily ship it except this one time like <laughs> not this one time just I know dig is planning to cosplay Prussia when I'm Germany and knowing us we we accidentally get really gross and loving no matter what we're ship w w no matter what we're cosplaying and it's bad but we just we're, we're just too gross we can't be away from each other we can't act platonic for too long because we're gross. So, we got some flack for that before when we were accidentally being like China and Japan. We're like, we don't even ship this, but I want to hold your hand. So that's always the danger. So that might happen, but we're trying our fucking best with those two to try to make a more German poke, poke. Hey, West. Uh. But yeah. That is the that is the only way I would um, ship German cest is just us cosplaying it together. But that's not necessarily the ship. More of just I love the person in that outfit <laughs> because I'm gross, gross and adorable. But then again, it just makes it even better when we're actually really good ships. Like everyone fucking loves Dorita. Like this one time, we were at a con and we were really really tired. We were being uh, Germany and Italy as you do. And we were just kind of sitting on the side, and we were really tired, and I- I am the type that wants all the cuddles. Like, I am the lower of the relationship. Not lower, you know what I mean. Like, I just want all the attention, so I was just like, just like, laying on them, be like, mm, hug me. And someone came by, like, oh my god, that's super cute, can I get a picture? And I paused, I was like, yeah, but maybe let's make this look less bad on my part. And so we ch changed it up, and then people just took shipping pictures of us because we were just kind of looking really cute by accident, sort of. We're cute. I love them so much. My hair is boingy today. This is sort of pointy, but it's more boingy. Like, it's hard to tell because it's on this one angle, but if you saw it in the air, it'd be like, just boing. Boing. Nice. Swoosh. Anyway. So that's it for all three questions. My hair is so- I'm sorry. My hair is so pointy. It's weird. I'm sorry, I don't get to look at myself very often, so it's like, wow. I got Roxy hair going on. <laughs> anyway, I keep getting distracted. I'm sorry, but Okay, today's topic is something kind of sad and I apologize because all of my topics have been really sad but That's because I don't know any other topics to talk about like I know someone said con one time. So it's like I could make a con discussion like 
experiences and stuff. Like, positive morals. But that's not today. Uh, mostly I wanted to do it for my own sake, because I need to hear myself talk about this. Uh, the topic's loneliness, as y'all told from the title. Because, as y'all heard from the very beginning, like, the main reason why I even started this vlog in the first place was because Dig started to work a lot. Because, you know, they just got a job, and yeah, good for them, but they work five days a week from in between six to eight hours per time. Which means I'm left alone a lot, and considering beforehand we would spend almost every day together, suddenly I'm just left to my own devices a lot, and... My house is really quiet, and... It's really lonely. And I know y'all thinking, WHY DON'T YOU GET A JOB?! Well, actually, no, that's not you, that's my parents talking. Of, get a job, and do something with your life, or go outside more, then you'll stop being depressed! I get those comments a lot more lately. I hate pub- I, I hate being on social media lately. Well, not social media, but Facebook, because my parents kind of guilt-tripped me into being friends with them on Facebook. So, like, whenever I mention anything about my de depression or anxiety or anything, like, my friends can understand. That's why I mostly posted it there, to see if I can get any support or ideas of what I'm about to do. But then my, my parents and my other family, like my aunts and stuff, are like, that's just all in your head. You just need to get off the computer and go outside more. It's all your fault. So on and so forth. Like, my friends can vouch for me on this. They've seen those. And it's like, mm -hmm, maybe it is my fault. And then it just gets worse. And then Dig has to come and do damage control, and it's a, it's a horrible cycle. And now Dig's not here. Well, and then when they are here, they're just exhausted, and just exhausted and stressed, and it just makes me really sad. But, yeah, I'm lonely. Which, it happens. Like, it's not the first time I've been lonely, like, throughout most of all my schools, I've been lonely. Like, not very good with friends. Well, I, I'm okay with friends. Like, high school, I got a lot better, like, halfway through, but then college hit? And some really bad shit happened, so I isolated myself through anyone so no one would touch me again. So, I purposely isolated myself. And, yeah, it sucked. And it pissed my parents off. But, um, in that loneliness, I found with a lot of alone time, I could do things I wanted to do. Like, I could get food I wanted. I could work on projects I wanted to. Like, in that loneliness spree in spree uh in college that's when i started let's playing that's when i started dream talia i started a lot of things during that loneliness time because a thing i've not realized is when you're lonely you just need to find things to fill sorry to fill that void in a way because yeah there's people online but sometimes that just doesn't cut it you need to find physical satisfaction Sometimes not with other people, sometimes it's just be really fucking greening around being around other people because people are slobs and thieves, as Dick puts it. Of course, then again, in retail, everyone is slobs and thieves when you have to pick up after their junk for like eight hours a day. <laughs> Bless them. But, as I was saying, um, y'all aren't slobs and thieves. Please understand where I'm coming from. Um, but, Physical satisfaction is the thing. Especially with, um, when internet friends aren't around. And it's like, yeah, they have lives outside of things, so they can't always be around for you. And that's okay, because you're not the center of the universe. Please don't think I'm bad-mouthing you. I'm not. I'm just speaking in general. I'm sorry, I'm not good with words today. Oh, what's wrong with me? Anyway. Um, you need physical satisfaction. That's what I'm getting to. And try to work on something. If you're lonely, do something. Like, it doesn't have to be for other people. It could just be for yourself. And it could be for other people, because that could solve loneliness in one way of getting people to come to you. But sometimes it don't work. It's okay. Like, um, I've made... Been, I've been doing a lot more game project stuff. I have... Though a lot of the game project stuff I've been collabing with Dig just to give us something to do since we both didn't have jobs. Well, I technically did, but 
it was this. So, like, without them around, I can't really continue on it because I don't have them around, so it's a... It's a thing. Demon Talia is still also a thing. I just haven't found the muse for it again because it's still hard. Uh. And Lubo's been busier, too, so, like, I don't know. But it's okay. But yeah, do your own thing. That's the thing. Like, just one time. Like, when I'm left alone to my own devices a lot, I slip into depression really easily because I have no one to talk me out of it. And I always have a fear of when I go online and if I talk about it, then people are like, Oh, we have it worse than you. You should stop doing that. Which I've been told many times not to do that. It's just a habit that's kind of formed with being around my parents. So, there was this one time I was laying around. A dig was gone for like eight hours that day. And so... It was like, they just left like an hour ago. So I was being like, eh, I don't, things suck. I suck. I don't want to do anything. I should sleep and not eat for the rest of forever. And I was being all sad. And then all of a sudden there was this one part of me being like, or you could clean the whole house while listening to Disney music. And I was like, you know what? That sounds better than being a sad sack of shit. Let's do it. So then for the rest of the day, I spent the whole time cleaning up the apartment. Like, um, cleaning... Uh, doing the whole laundry, cleaning kitchen, out front. I still haven't fully cleaned it. I still need a vacuum and clean up a little bit. But, that aside, um, that took up five hours. And I felt really proud of myself. I got to see physical results. I got moving up and around and when Dig came home they were really surprised and really happy and really proud of me for going out and doing that because we had been dreading to do that forever and then I just up and did it without telling them so yeah and other things is uh, like making gifts for people that's also good and again it doesn't have to be for people it could be for yourself too like making stuff like videos fix stuff Mm-hmm. That was a weird face, I'm sorry. But, anyway. So, yeah. Like, I don't really have a concrete moral. It may seem like I'm going around a lot with not really, it's like, you should do this and you'll be healed or your loneliness. No. Because that's not really a thing I know how to fix. Because I can give you all of the vice in the world, but it still doesn't fix that it happens. I can't find a go-to way to fix it for every single person and all of the things. Which is basically how it does for anyone, but especially this one. This is something I'm still coming to terms with myself. And to be like, oh, you're just being a baby. Well, yeah, well, I have feelings. Yeah, I might be complaining, but I... I say, I, I would say I warned you, but that's kind of mean to say. Of, yeah, I have issues. I have tissues. I have, um, well, technically, right, because crying. But, yeah. This is a, it's a choice to watch this. And I do ramble about my own self issues on here, as you guys have realized. And I'm trying to fix that. But I feel like if I'm, because I have a lot of issues, and as I keep saying, and I feel like if I address them here and hear myself talk about it, I might be able to fix it in the long run and have other people's opinions about it, maybe to inspire others and myself. Because I don't have a therapist. So this is the best I can do, is just self-talking. And stuff. So... That's all I got, really. I'm sorry I can't really help with this one. I can't even help myself, so... That's the sad thing. But, what can you do, really? I mean, it's a learning experience. I'm still decent aged. And this job thing is new, so... Like, the loneliness is new, so I'm still coming to terms with it. But once I get used to it and find things to do to keep me busy other than YouTube... Because sometimes YouTube, you're thinking, oh, just make more videos. Sometimes it's really hard. Like, there's points I just cannot bring myself to just put on a microphone and talk. Even if it's just for games. Because they're- they are draining in some respect, but... It's better than retail. Being honest here. I do accept the fact that someday I should probably go find a job. 
like we're doing absolutely fine like we're doing more than fine just I don't know maybe I'm maybe I'm subtly collapsing to the peer pressure of my parents that's also a job but my dad said it's okay to be a housewife so I want to be a housewife that's what I really want to do housewife and YouTube this but I know society doesn't really like that not anymore at least and it sucks but whatever you know um the reason why I have so many stuffed animals because of loneliness too stuffed animals were mostly my friends growing up sad fact but true that's okay it's all right cuz that's okay cuz people are like oh, I still see with stuffed animals is that weird no I mean we have ours we I still sleep with some well I used to before I was able to move in with dig and now with dig we have pillow pets and they're pretty much still our companions in bed they have names and they're great mine's name is Sparky junior because my friend Jackie uh, she had a giant dog pillow stuffed animal thing it was not a pillow pet but his name was Sparky and he was a brown dog I was like, I love it. And I, so I slept on him when I s slept over. And so when I this brown dog pillow pet came out, I was like, oh my god! This is like Sparky! So his name's Sparky Jr. But I just call him Sparky. My cord fell. Yes. So that's about it, really. Loneliness. Try to keep yourself busy. Find projects to do until something else can come along. Um, don't be afraid if nothing really works of um, trying to find people to connect with, trying to find things to do, but no one comes anyway, because that happens sometimes. Like, when growing up, um, more sad stories, I'm sorry, of um, just examples of things, but in growing up, in especially high school and college, I would make, no one invited me to parties, ever, which it's fine, because I'm not really a party person, but the invite still would have been nice. So I thought to myself, hey, what if I made parties? Then people would come to that and I could have friendship. No one came. Usually not. Especially when I made like cosplay, even cosplay meetups. Like, in the beginning it did. In the beginning it worked. And I made, I used so much money to make these really cool parties. With really good food and like dinner parties and stuff. Get people from a lot to come down for it and again in the beginning it kind of worked and then as time went on no one came anymore it came to the point that no one even came to my birthday parties like they would go to something else like a con not even a con it was like a meetup or whatever when they knew my birthday was coming but anyway so in the end you might try things to get for people, but it might just not work. Which is fine. Because, well, well, maybe it's not fine. It, it is sad. And it's really dumb. That, you know, no matter how much you try, you just can't. But, it's not really your fault. It's other people's fault, really. But, I guess, really, no one's at fault, really when I think about it, but just try other things. Try another audience. I mean, it might come slow, but you're not going to be alone forever. There's still going to be someone there. Some people. Even if it's not even a significant other. You just have other friends online. And if you're like, oh, but I have no friends! You know? Did you keep trying? Are you keeping trying? Yes! Oh, well, keep trying. Life? Life is long. I mean, it's the shortest thing in existence, considering that we only live one life, but... It's still technically long. So, yeah. I'm still trying to learn that myself. I know y'all are thinking, Oh, but it must be easy for you to get friends! Oh. You'd be surprised. You'd be really surprised. But... Because it's like, yeah, people flock to me and all, but it doesn't mean I want them to be my friend. Like, I do. I do want to be friends. Just, like, close and personal of, like, people like, Hey! 
I'm your big fan on YouTube. Let's be best friends. It's like, I don't know you. Y'all are thinking, oh, you must be so lucky. Oh, lucky you. Mm -mm. It'd be nice to get some physical recognition. That'd be nice. But that's, uh, that's something else. So yeah, I don't really have an answer to this today, and I'm sorry I don't. It's just more of a talking it out. And I hope this is helpful. I really hope this is helpful. Sort of helpful for me to talk it out, but I don't know. So, I'm going to leave it at that because we're almost out of time. But, advice for the day. It kind of ties in with one of my stories in the background. You guys are going to be like, Ugh, but it's true. Cleaning is not that bad. Chores are not that bad. Y'all thinking, what do you mean? It's the worst thing ever. Well, it's a lot better when you want to do it on your own instead of being breathed down your neck. Like, um, for example, like I said before, just deciding to clean the house while listening to upbeat music. Well, Disney music in my case, but still, upbeat music is really good to listen to while you're cleaning the house. It's nice. Like, you get to see physical results and everything. And even if it's what I used to do when I lived with uh, Minka was we took one day out of the week to clean something. Like, every Wednesday, we would clean parts of the house. We would pick up our stuff from the front room, at least our side of the front room, and we would handle one room each. So one of us would handle our bedroom and um, the other one to get the bathroom, or so on and so forth. Even if it's just cleaning your room, or like doing small things to pick up during the day. Like, it's nice that you have a clean area, and again, it's a lot better than having someone breathe down your neck for it, because then you're like, oh, obligation, and I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't clean it correctly, oh my god. But another one's like, well, you're gonna want, want it like this when you live in your own house. And you're thinking, no, I'm gonna live in a pigsty, and it's gonna be great. Like, it's only great for so long, and then you realize that no one's going to pick up the slack for you, so you'd have to do it anyway. So doing it while in a good mood is a lot better than having to do it when you're tired and exhausted, and you're just picking up pieces one by one, because you just can't fucking find a thing, or you're, you're out of dishes. So, yeah. So, cleaning can be fun. If you have upbeat music. Well, not if. That's a plus. Find things you like to do. Like, find chores that are fun. For you. Yeah. So that's about it. I'd... <laughs> this is a very negative th th discussion. Goodness gracious. I'm so sorry. Like, again, I'm open to questions. I'm open to topic discussions for something hopefully more on the positive side. <laughs> Whoops. Yes. So, this gonna be it for me this time. I think. Sometime I should do a house tour. But then again, the house is dirty again. Like, I fucking cleaned it, like, a fucking not even a week ago, and it's already dirty again. Fuck me! Not really! This takes job. Haha. -ha. But, yes, so. This gonna be for another time. So, hope y'all have a good week. And have a good day, everybody! Bye! Snip, snip. I want my pro tag hair. Now it's more pointy. Boing, boing.